And why did you guys choose to get intensive aphasia therapy? It seemed to me like um, we could be doing more. I mean, we were we were at the at the hospital for maybe for three hours a day every other day, and we have exercises and things we were doing in between. But it just seemed like there could be a lot more done, especially as I was doing my reading and my research. It seemed like. You know, the first year or so is you get some of the maximum gains uh, and everything. And you know, past that, there's still gains to be had, but uh, I wanted to really maximize what, what could be done in that in the first year or year and a half or whatever uh, after the stroke. So I thought, especially speech was the, was the major, major problem. She was walking, her arm was coming back. Um, she's still, still working on, on some functions there, but the speech was coming along sort of the slowest, my, was my impression. So I thought there must be another way Nobody at Hernan or anywhere else had ever, ever mentioned anything about intensive speech therapy, so I just started doing my research. Somebody, oh, somebody in a, in a stroke rehab group mentioned that their husband had gone to a program called uh, Pirate, the VA hospital in Pittsburgh, and I thought, and uh, chose the aphasia center because it seemed like um, it was the most flexible. Um, it was... Um, more desirable in terms of location, which you know is a little bit secondary, but actually turns out to be more important than I would have thought for my, my wife's country. So with some um, with some other input I got from um, some other uh, aphasia experts, um, I, I decided you know, along with the other other criteria to come to uh, to investigate coming here to the uh, aphasia center in St. Petersburg. So what kind of problems um, were you or Danny having before you guys decided to come here for intensive? Um, she, she was basically able to say um, a fairly limited set of words. Um, she couldn't really put a sentence together um, of more than two words uh, with any kind of regularity. Um, she couldn't express the simplest things like, hey, will you go downstairs and check to see if we need to advance the laundry from the washer to the dryer? She would take out her notebook and she would draw schematics of the house, first, second, and third floor, and then she would put a little dot next to a box, and I'd have to go, hmm, I wonder what she means by this. First, I had to figure out it was the house, and then I had to figure out what the dot was, and oh yeah, so it was about a 10 minute uh, you know, game, guessing game to, uh, to determine, oh, that's the laundry, you want me to go check, oh, God, God. Okay. Um, So we, we went through that all over and over and over again, and she would just get fr so frustrated, and she would start crying sometimes. And, and, um, you know, that was a lot of impetus to, to me to say, you know, there's got to be a better way to, um, to do the therapy here um, and to have more, more intense, uh, more rapid uh, increase in, in capability. But the drawing and writing is a strength of hers, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Um, she's an engineer, so by trade, that's kind of what she does. But, mm -hmm. but, the, but she wasn't able to explain what she was drawing was the hard part. Mm -hmm. So I would have to, to, to guess and say, uh, is this, are these streets? Or are these, is this, are you drawing the neighborhood? Or you're drawing, and we have to go through, you know, and, and every, almost every kind of a discussion like that wound up to be something of a guessing game, um, which, which was, you know, looking back on it was kind of funny, but at the time it was a little more, more than a little frustrating, uh, certainly to, to her, um, you know, as to, to some extent as well as to me, but I knew I just had to be patient and let her, you know, kind of, kind of grind through it and figure out some other ways. And, um, but, Again, it all sort of suggested that she could she could probably use a lot more intensive therapy because I saw how fast she was learning. That was that was one thing, and not just with the mind, but with the body also. And how has the program here or the staff helped her with her communication? Do you think what specific changes have you seen with her? Um, her vocabulary is a lot broader. We did we did four four and a half weeks, and now we're at the beginning of another another session. Um, but after that four and a half weeks. Um, her, her, her vocabulary was significantly increased. Um, she initially, she was putting together some sentences, um, but not a lot, but then about three or four weeks after that first session ended, all of a sudden it went up into a steep climb. Um, and she's able now to say a lot more than she used to, a lot more content, a lot more um, questions, um, more vocabulary is coming back to her um, often. Um, the ability to communicate for her to express what she needs, what she wants, ask me questions, ask me to do things for her, rather than drawing diagrams and you know being real cryptic little arrows and, and stuff. Uh, she's, she can verbalize all that much more. She can say laundry, check the laundry, you know, and that, <laughs> that's a major major victory almost um, uh, right there. But the the payoff from the intensive 
speech therapy is definitely there, and you know we're excited to to continue. It's a long process, and she's you know she's got a lot of vocabulary and, and expressive abilities to get to regain. But um, the um, the gains compared to what we were doing before that um, are are most significant, and we're really pleased. Do you think she's probably? Feeling better about herself now? Oh gosh, Somewhat yeah. Happier. Oh, her confidence is way up. She still gets a little frustrated, and she's you know she that's one of her favorite words, frustrated. She got that word down, um, but um, far less often. She she's more emotionally stable. She so she's much more um, confident and um, emotionally um, settled, and uh, can see. Back to she, the other day, she said to me, she said to me, well, for almost maybe the first time, she said, I can feel my speech is better. She's had, she, she said that to me in the car or something. I, thought, I said, yeah, you're right. It is. I've been telling you that, but you don't believe me. But now, now you're actually seeing yourself. And that's, that's a, a, a big plus, too, that she can, she can recognize it.